Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you that how you can use props in your react.js application so first of all in this video I will explain the concept of props using an example and then we will pass our props in a components and then we will learn how we can receive our props in a child components in different ways so friends video is going to be more important and before starting the video I would like to request you to subscribe to our youtube channel without any delay let's start so friends first of all you can see that i have created a basic react chase project and open this in my visual studio code so if you will open your source folder you will find an app.js and inside your app.js you will find this code so first of all before moving further let me run this app and show you our output so you have to click on new terminal and here you need to type this command which is npm start so you will see a url similar to like this maybe you will find a port 3000 or 3001 so this is not really matter and this is the current output of our application and if you will remove this header tag and all of its content and save and now you can see that we have an empty blank page so before doing any practical let me give you an example that what props actually are you write code in your programming languages you write function and you write you pass arguments in your functions so props are similar to arguments so let's suppose here is our react.js component and if I create a function like add and here I will pass two arguments which is a and b so each time for example if I type here a plus b and semicolon and it means if anyone will type here add 3 plus 3 and 5 so what this function will do it will add these two numbers and return the result so we can use this function we can pass different data and operation will be same which is addition but the output will be different depending on the content or the arguments we are passing here so the props concept is similar to arguments in a function so now let's suppose let me create another folder here which is components and let's suppose this folder will contain all of our components and now I will right click on it and I'm going to create a component here which is childjo.js and now if I will type here rfc and press enter you can see that we have a basic functional component uh, this is just architecture of a basic functional component uh, if you also want to achieve that you need to go to extensions and you will find this extension which is developed by dsznajdr so this is the extension name you need to install this and obviously you can learn more about this extension but the benefit is you only need to type here rfc and if you will press enter so it have created a functional component for me it have also it also provides other code snippets so it have a lot of varieties it will make your work so much easier so you must need to use that or whichever extension you want to use basically these extensions make our work easier so coming to the main point we have created this component inside this we have a div which is uh, printing child and this our function is returning this div statement so now what i'm going to do i'm going to import this child component from components folder we have child.js so now inside this what i'm going to do i'm going to press h1 here and inside this i'm going to type here uh, child or let me remove this h1 from here it will be better and I'm going to paste this h1 here I just want my this text to look bigger on my output so yes we have saved this we have imported this component here and now we just using this component in our main app component so now again let me go to browser so you can see that simple child is printing so for example uh, I'm going to change the string like children name is and Fahim so you can see that this is printing obviously this is good but now for example if I copy and paste this component here again so now you can see that the same string is printing but what I want is I want I want to use the same component but each time I want to print the different name for example maybe if I am displaying students name so each time I want same layout maybe you will have a card layout 
but the data should be different in that so head props are very useful for this type of situation so let me show you how you will use that uh, first of all i'm going to comment this and i'm going to pass here an attribute like name inside this i will type pass fahim or maybe let me type here numan and now i will open the child.js here you can we have to receive these props same as we receive arguments from a function and now i will remove this and simply i need to type here like this so i can write my javascript code in it and now i will type props dot name so props is the key that we write here to receive this props and name is the this custom attribute that we have uh, given here but we will receive its value so now let me show you our output you can see that children name is numan so similarly if i copy and paste this but if i will type here for him so you can see that uh, with the same component we are receiving different output because we are passing different props in it similarly uh, you can pass different props for example let me pass here uh, type here h is equal to 18 years or let me simple type here 18 inside our this component i will press p element here and now i will simple type here h is props dot h so this is the same method as we receive the name now if let me refresh so you can see the children name is noman and age is 18 let me again also type here h2 heading so we can see our output in a bigger form um, i'm also going to zoom in so you can see that children name is noman and age is 18 so friend this this is how you can pass multiple props in a component and receive this and for example uh, if we have another data like designation is equal to or let me type here an easy spelling like d e s g designation is equal to a uh, web developer and you don't need to each type uh, each time type here props dot name props dot age or props dot designation so let me uh, tell you an easy method for example i will again type here an object so this time i will simply copy this uh, name here age and similarly the third parameter we are passing is designation so i will type here designation so now you can remove this you can directly type here name you can also remove this props dot age and you can type here age and similarly you can type here designation and let me also type here designation so now you can see that friends children name is numan age is 18 and designation is web developer so friends this was the technique that how we can pass props in a functional component and how we can receive and use those props in our child component so i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and if you have any ideas that how we can improve our content you can also suggest us in the comment section and your feedback is very important for us and please share this video with your those friends who want to learn web development and finally thanks for watching